This cannot be possible! Admiral Higsoran screamed while jumping out of his seat. I fear it is, old friend, was General Coltasis's rather cold response. Another coalition fleet annihilated. Another 700 ships destroyed. Another system lost. For the past 200 years since the first appearance of the Zixtal, this had been the status quo. Battle after battle, system after system, the coalition one after another has surrendered their territories. The onslaught was unprecedented. They had come from another galaxy, the first intergalactic visitors in billions of years, and they had come as conquerors. Their zerbite powered ships and weapons were superior to everything the Milky Way had to offer. By now, they had conquered half the galaxy. Even a coalition of the galaxy's 20 major political powers had not been able to stop them. Everything seemed lost. At this rate, they will have conquered us within another century, Senator Gilvinus of the Tildor muttered. Where is the main Zixtar fleet headed? General Coltasis asked the operators of Coalition HQ. The human domain, the chief operator answered. The humans? They will be swept aside in a few years, Abel Hill Zuxren remarked. But perhaps they can keep the Zixtal occupied long enough for us to organize an effective defense. For humans were an unpopular and troublesome species. First encountered by coalition probes half a millennium ago, they had mostly kept to themselves. At first they had been an empire ruled by an almighty monarch. Under the empire, the humans had colonized over 10,000 systems, rising to be among the greatest powers in the galaxy. But they preferred to stay among themselves. Their internal strife was legendary among the citizens of the galaxy. They fought and quarreled constantly among one another. One time they had started a civil war among several hundred star systems because of a disagreement over a sports game they called Grav Football. But once the Empire had reached a certain size, it was no longer possible to keep all these systems administered by a single centre, and the human domain had fractured into 100 different factions. These domains had been battling one another for the most trivial reasons for the past few centuries. When the Zixtal invaders arrived, they expected a quick victory. Over 100 human systems fell in just a month. Then the humans retaliated. Despite their superior weapons and technology, the Zixtal were held at bay by human ferocity and inventiveness. Then humans started pushing the invaders back. Coalition intelligence marveled at human deeds. In over 200 years, they had never seen what they saw now. A fleet of just 300 human ships prevailed over 800 Zixtal ships at Angor 7. The Dyrol system was freed in a single week. At Nysen 4, the humans won by pushing Nysen's moon onto the planet, completely annihilating 80% of all Zixtal forces in a single blow. And at Salador 9, the humans didn't even bother engaging the 5,000 ships amassed. They just blew up the star Salador, annihilating the entire system. A hundred years after being attacked by the Zixtal, humanity had pushed them to the edges of the galaxy, mostly on their own. While internal conflicts had been reduced to a minimum during the war, they resurfaced once again while nearing victory. The Denorius Empire wanted to take over 20,000 systems previously under Zixtal control for bearing the military brunt of the war. The Aphalos Coalition objected. It had been their technology that had ensured humanity's victory. The Mining Guild of Uxtal claimed to have secured the rights to mine any planet, liberated, and the Republic of Saldorum insisted that under the Treaty of Earth, they should have complete control over all systems previously held by the Zixtal. By the time Coalition forces were pushing the last weakened Zixtal forces out of the galaxy, the humans had once again fallen to their internal strife. The entire war caused by an extragalactic invader the entire war that had brought most other species of the galaxy to the brink of extinction. For humans, it had been just a minor distraction in their endless infighting.